independent, objective, and efficient functioning would take us through these testing times, and we will remain resilient to fight any challenges as a nation. As the celebrations are concluding, it is not the end, rather the journey beyond has just started. The pleasant memories of the year will surely stimulate our enthusiasm and commitment to give our best for our institute and our profession. It is now that we have to stand together and face the challenges. It is the moment with, when our actions will determine the legacy we will leave for our successors. My sincerest plea to all delegates and participants is to remember the golden principles of life, which are hard work, fairness, tolerance, professionalism, give your best, never compromise on integrity, and hope for the best. Success will surely follow you with the blessing of Allah Almighty. In the end, I would like to thank the ICAP President, Vice Presidents, Council Members, Golden Jubilee Celebration Committee, Conference Organizing Committee, Associates, Members, Students of the Institute for their untiring support, their vibrant participation, and the love for their Institute for making this Golden Jubilee a really memorable one. I wish great success to the concluding conference and hope you will enjoy the speeches of our very learned speakers, the hospitality of ICAP, and professional conference arrangements. May Allah Almighty bless us all, the ICAP and our beloved country. Thank you and Pakistan for in the bar. To invite our president, Mr. Rashid Rahman Mir, to deliver his address. So let's welcome him with a big round of applause. Mr. Rashid Rahman Mir. Honorable Chief Guest, Chief Justice, Justice Lahore High Court, Sheikh Al Masai, respected keynote speakers, former Finance Minister, Mr. Shaukat and President ICAEW, Mr. Clive Parrott, past Presidents, ICAP, Chairman Golden Jubilee Committee, Mr. Hafiz Muhammad Yusuf, Presidents of SAFA, member bodies, foreign delegates, distinguished guests, Dear members and fellow colleagues, assalamu alaikum and very good evening. I am delighted to welcome you all to the grand finale of the Golden Jubilee ce celebrations of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Pakistan in the historic city of Lahore. It is very heartening to see such a huge turnout of our fraternity here this evening. Your presence and enthusiasm clearly reflects your love and respect to the Institute and the profession. Thank you very much for making the Golden Jubilee celebration so very successful. As a tribute to the wonderful journey of five decades, the Council of the Institute decided to celebrate Golden Jubilee throughout the year, and these year-long celebrations were meant to strengthen the bond with the membership to commemorate the achievements of our elders, pay tribute to, the, to our heroes, and create wonderful memories for the institute and to generate interest in and to generate interest in all local and international stakeholders the delightful the, the delightful band blend of conferences recreational events student activities and family get togethers have made truly the celebrations unforgettable today we have gathered here to bid adieu to the Golden Jubilee year in a befitting manner and welcome the upcoming challenges with fortitude and commitment. We also pledge to, we also pledge to outdo previous achievements and preserve the rich legacy and heritage that we have inherited, inherited from our forefathers. Today, ICAP is not only recognized as a world-class institute, but is highly reputed for its quality, professionalism, and integrity. Members of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Pakistan are recognized and lauded internationally. This is evidenced by the fact that presently about 20% of our membership is employed across the globe. We have more than 18,000 students in the fold of profession getting ready to enter the fraternity. ICAP is an active member of various international accountancy forums, such as International Federation of Accountants, Confederation of Asian and Pacific Accountants, Asian Ocean Standard Setter Groups, 
South Asian Federation of Accountants and contributions made by our made by and the contributions made by our members have always been greatly acknowledged. The theme of the conference, Testing Times, Reflections on Present and Future, has been consciously selected to reflect on this past, savor the present, and plan for the future. This theme clearly indicates our inclination to meet upcoming challenges with the fortitude and strength. I am sure you would agree when I say that today the past seems better than the present but it is within our control to work towards a bright and scintillating future. We as a nation have 64 years behind us. We have made our share of mistakes. How can we do better? We need to carefully develop and plan future approaches to find constructive and peaceful solutions to problems facing the world at large and our region in particular. This principally is the reason why I have great hopes attached to this conference. I feel that this entire assembly of intellectuals and professionals will be able to come up with the solutions to the issues at hand. Energy shortfalls, depletions of food and mineral resources, political instability, economic turmoil, all can be overcome if we discipline ourselves, select the right leaders, innovate and execute diligently. In these testing times, your institute as always stands staunchly by your side, committed to development, integrity, and quality. In today's turbulent environment, one must be always prepared to cope with the change. Our profession has undergone many changes, from the initial days of record keeping to the modern day role of business leader, geared to ultimately become a CEO. The integrity and quality associated with our profession and the faith and trust of the public in our members have become our key strength. Today, we are looked upon as saviors of integrity and quality, as solution providers rather than our regular predefined role. In order to match these expectations, we as chartered accountants need to broaden our horizon and understand the demands of tomorrow. While we talk about the scenario that awaits us, we need to think and plan the journey beyond the golden mark. I feel our members are our present and our students are our future. And therefore, if we want to succeed, we need to focus on both. That is by providing services to the members and improving the quality of education to the students. As we step into 51st year of the Institute, we would like to focus on a priority basis on bringing about educational reforms. We are revisiting